Does your painting workstation look like this? Chaos personified? No room for anything? Bottles all over the place. You too can organize your workbench like I did. Hey guys. So, I've been trying to figure out for a long time how to best organize my workbench. And what I've done in the past is Typically about every couple months I go through and reorganize everything and, and shuffle stuff up on shelves and um, I've got some of these things that little stair light jobs that I just kind of toss things into and I, I'm just the, the frustration level is great. So what I was thinking is, I've got all this stuff that's on my desk right now, and I need to get it off my desk. Well, I tried putting a spice rack up, and it works okay until <clears throat> you try to get that one bottle that's all the way in the back, and oh crap, and then everything falls down. <clears throat> so I looked at some of the different acrylic um, like shelving units and th stuff and I'm like yeah that'd be a great idea but then the price mark the you know the price entry just wasn't there so I started looking on Amazon and found some nail polish shelves and figured you know what my paint bottle should fit in there just fine and so this is what I found Okay, so this is a 90 count nail polish rack. And there's little holes right here and right here that you can mount them. And I put some of my paints up to kind of get an idea of how many each one would hold, each shelf holds. Um, I think the price mark on this is $33 plus shipping. I think it worked out to about 40 bucks for me. But it holds 17 of the Privateer Press, the P3 line. The standard Vallejo bottle, there's 20 in there. And I don't have enough of the GW pots, but I'm going to guess that's about between 17 or 18 of those pots. And down here are the Vallejo liquid golds. They're a little bigger, so I'm going to maybe guesstimate about maybe 15 to 17 of those as well. And then on top I'll put my uh, zip kickers and things like that. So, yeah. And I'll come back here in a second once I've got it mounted and you guys can see what the workbench looks like. So this is the rack. After I got most of my paints up there. That's the entire P3 line that I well, minus a couple colors and a good chunk of the Vallejo model air. Um, I had to keep some stuff out. I've got some space underneath that I can and on the sides that I can build some of my own custom shelves but yeah for 40 bucks it's a lot of organization. I like a lot.
Okay guys, um, yeah, I went ahead and built the two new shelves, one of which you've seen some pictures of, and it just, um, I actually just, it was perfect size, I just set it right underneath the acrylic, and uh, this is a drafting table, so I kind of squeezed it up on there, and it's nice and solid. And then I built another one fit right next to the acrylic so I built another one that fits next to the um, the acrylic one and again it's just uh, leftover uh, pieces of select pine that I use to make my gaming table so all my commonly used paints are down here at the bottom. Most commonly used. My glues and some of that other stuff is over there. Some uh, primers. But, yep. So, we went from the previous bit of chaos to significantly less chaos. That's my bits thing. This is still a mess over there, but yeah, this looks good here. Lots of real estate in which to do stuff. So, that is my work area. Hope you liked the video. Uh, please comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't. Lots more videos coming. See ya.